What's up guys, this is iTweaks here with iPhoneHacks.com and today I'm going to be showing you a newly updated tweak for iOS 7 called Dimmer. Now Dimmer is going to allow you to change your brightness all the way down to basically a completely black screen. So usually you're only going to be able to get around to about right there and maybe you wanted to get it a little bit darker just because it's still a little bit blinding when you're laying in bed or for whatever reason you can actually move it all the way down depending on uh, some settings and I'm going to show you that it can go it can go completely black you probably don't want that because you can't see anything but it's kind of hard once it goes completely black to actually grab that grabber right there like I just did so what you can do is use the let's go completely black you can use the volume rockers right here hit the volume up button four times and it's going to automatically brighten up the screen so you can see just like that so let's jump into the settings here let's get the brightness all the way up and we'll go to the settings and here's your dark point adjustment so basically what this means is how dark do you want it to go do you want to go completely black like I have it right here or do you want it to be a little bit brighter so you can see that it's kind of adjusting as I change it and you can see it's changing the slider as well so that's kind of annoying I don't like how it automatically changes it right there but still that's what it does so we're gonna move this all the way up again and right here is the dimmer or backlight threshold so what this means is as you move your slider let's say in your control center when is dimmer going to start to take effect so you can see this is the normal dimming for iOS 7 about right here then when I get about halfway it's gonna start getting really dark and that's because I have this right in the middle so dimmer is gonna start taking over right in the middle of the slider right here so it gets really dark right there now down here you have your volume activation and I highly recommend having this on because it saved me a couple times and what this does is like I showed you earlier if you get a completely black screen you can hit the volume up button four times in a row and it's going to give you automatic brightness if you hit the volume down button four times in a row then it's going to give you automatic darkness so let's go ahead and do that you have to do it quick too so if there's any pause like I accidentally did right there then it's not going to work so one two three four automatically dark one two three four automatically light so right there you can actually change your brightness as well you can change your safety brightness so how bright do you actually want it when you hit the volume up button if you want it all the way up then you can change that and you can do the exact same thing for the darkened brightness as well you can move it all the way down so it's going to be completely black one two three four one two three four and it's going to go completely black now one thing to keep in mind is you might want to tap the screen once you hit the volume up button four times to make it bright because sometimes it automatically goes back to black. So you can see one, two, three, four, it'll go dark. One, two, three, four, it goes bright. Now let's see if it goes back dark. Okay, so what you want to do is one, two, three, four, and then tap the screen and then it won't go dark. For me, I'm probably not going to be using dimmer on my daily driver just because I think the darkness that it gets when I move the brightness slider all the way down is completely fine with me. I don't need it to go any darker than that, especially all the way dark. So this is just a new tweak that was just updated and a lot of people actually like it. So I figured I'd give it a shot and cover it and show you guys if it's something you were looking for. So if you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button. If you want to see more of my videos, then don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. All right, guys, until next time. This is iTweaks with iPhoneHacks.com.